जो रात के टाइम है ओपेरा हाउस हार्ड रोड ब्रिज मैं ओपेरा हाउस भि हाई यो भि प्ले लगने ठावर हो यो मेरो तेसरो दिन हो सीडी में तर घूमने हिसाब से मेरा दोसों दिन हो ओपेरा हाउस सीडनी को एकदम फेमस लैंडमाक हो ये सीडनी के अस्ट्रेलिया को फोटो देखने बितिक इसको फोटो देखे हो यहाँ के भादा खी ये नाटक देखाने फिल्म देखाने ठाव रही बेसिकली मैं चाह मेरे चाहे बहुत ठूल इच्छा हो प्ले हेने नाटक हेने इच्छा हो अभी मैं चाहे विचार कर रखे सेक्सपियर को ओथोलो भू में हिंदी में बने थे इसको पिक्चर ओंकारा भाई तो ओरिजिनल भर्जन चाहिए ओथोलो हो इसके नाम तो मैं यहाँ हेने विचार कर पैसा चाहिए रही थर्टी डलर ते पैसा जैसे अब तस्ते होने भोलि बी आज चाहे सत्रह तारीख हो बीस तारीख के गर हे हेर के हो जो एरिया चाहिए लोकेटेड सीडनी हार्बर ब्रिज र ओपेरा हाउस भक् एरिया सिडनी हार्बर भो ब्रिज हो सिडनी हार्बर ब्रिज हो यो ओपेरा हाउस मैं सुने अनुसार जहाँसम मैं जाने अनुसार वन अफ द सेवेन्थ वंडर मंद में पर्च जैसे ताजमहल अफिल टावर एफिल टावर सरी भाई ये एवं लैंडमाक हो एकदम सातवटा अजुबा मत एक अजुबा हो भाई कहसम सत्य तो बारे में इन्वेस्टि इन्वेस्टिगेट करना बाकी नहीं तर मैं सुने को अब कुछ फिर आए आ लंडनक है लंडन को ब्यू ब्यूटी सुंदर तो आपने किसिम को अभी सीडनी को आपने किसिम को रेच वेदर चाहिए जाड़ो बने खास जाड़ो होने रहे यहाँ तर जाड़ो वेदर हो मैं लंडन बस्ने बानी भर भर हो कि मैं यहाँ तो जाड़ो लाने यहाँ का मानस थुप खूब जाड़ो भाई तर मैं तो जाड़ो लाने ठाव उ गर्मी होता खेल जाड़ो हो हम भाग एक्जैक्ट अपोजिट वेदर हो क्योंकि दक्षिणी गोलार्ध में पर्ने भग भर नेपालतिर गर्मी होता खेल यहाँ जाड़ो होता जाड़ो होता खेल यहाँ गर्मी चल रहा होते लंडन में लंडन तर अ गर्मी चल रहा है यहाँ चाहे जाड़ो चल रहा है अभी उड़ो चलता खेल यहाँ एकदम मजा को घ घाम लाई रहा होनी यह गर्मी समर सीजन हो यो लोकेटेड डिफ्रेंट लोकेसन में भग भर तो अलग पृथ्वी को तल्लो पर्च तल्लो भाग तीर ये सिडनी ओपेरा मैं हार्डवर्क ब्रिज को नजिक हार्डवर्क ब्रिज आठ रुपये से तला
मैले यो हार्डवेयर ब्रिज को तल छु अनि फोटोग्राफी यो ठुलो राम्रो पुल रहेछ यो इट्स अ ब्युटिफुल प्लेस बेसिकली आई बीन टु सो मेनी प्लेसेस बट आई हैव लाइक दिस प्लेस सो मच आई थॉट यू नो एफिल टावर इज द बेस्ट बट आई थिंक इट्स मोर देन एफिल टावर हियर आई नो एफिल टावर हैज गॉट इट्स ओन ब्यूटी बट दिस इज अ ब्युटिफुल प्लेस टु सी बिहाइंड द बैक देयर इज द ओपेरा हाउस and uh, this is one of the seven wonders here we go test number 9 for our back journey cd's are only 10 dollars what you're listening to now is exactly what's on that cd Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. You got a camera? Come over and get a photo. Take as many photos as you wish. All donations are greatly appreciated. What you're listening to now is exactly what's on our CD. Ten tracks, an hour of music for only ten dollars. How's that for a bargain? Dollar a track, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Track number eight. This is called Walk About Warrior. I've got a couple of brothers that walk around Warrior, I think. Quite <laughs> like the great sounds of the didgeridoo mixed up with a little bit of modern day contemporary music, ladies and gentlemen. Come and grab our CD, they're only $10. baby with milk. Now they are, they are very similar to porcupine but they are completely different. Be only because they are I show you his tongue if yeah. he pull out. So he uses his nose to yeah. find his food yeah. and then he's got the tongue
to scoop. Now they are very intelligent, the echidna. Are they? They are because she, if, if she is active, yeah. that means it's good. That you know, at least you get some action. Otherwise, every one of them would be like that, sleeping. Yeah. Now, koala is also a marsupial. So, you know, can you get it? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. They are egg laying mammals. Yeah. They don't live in water, but they are excellent swimmer. They live above the lakes area oh, yeah. and barrel up, up on land. Yeah. Their bill is like a duck, and the front, yeah. excellent swimmer. They got two layers of fat. Again, it's, see what he's sleeping in. You can see his head, he's just put his head down. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, um... He is the only kangaroo that can go, to, can go back. He's the only one that he can, uh, he can climb up to the tree. That's why he's tree kangaroo. And he oh. can walk backward. Look at him. So if oh. he's in, on the tree, he can walk backward or down on the ground. Oh, it's, it's but he lives oh, on the tree. Oh, it's beautiful. You like that? It's the kangaroo. See his tails? Oh. There you go. Yeah, that, that's right. That's yeah. right. Now they are, of course, um, also marsupials. They got a pouch. Oh yeah. yeah. You can swim it from here. Yeah. That's the male. Male red kangaroo is. Wait. So we've got two female and one male. Yeah, one male. Yeah. Are they polygamy or? Are they what? Polygamy or? Polygamy? Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. 4,000 years ago. 12,000 years 4,000 years. 4,000, okay. And they stay ever since and actually become Australian icon. Yeah. They only is Australian. Yeah. Only have it in Tasmania. Do you know do you know where is Tasmania? No idea. Yeah, upset Tasmania. And it's called Tasmanian Devil because they look like devils. They got the jaw, very strong jaw. They love their sleep. They have fur. Oh my area. The giraffe.
technical view Torangaji water. यो हाथी ये ऐसी नाती आ रही है
Panda there somewhere, I promise. It's a whole one. A bit blurry, but it's a whole panda from tip to tail. Yeah, all right. Thank you. 
And some of the largest flying birds you will ever see are found right here in this country. 
Now, one of those birds is called a brolga, and we have a brolga. His name's Billy, and he's right above your head. A very long landing gear. When you first look at Billy, you will notice he's got a very long beak, and you might think that's used for spearing. However, what Billy does is probe into the ground, looking for things he likes to eat, like rubs and roots. And those long legs of Billy's are really handy when you're a bird that's found around wetlands, because you can enter water and keep those feathers high and dry. When in search of other things you like to eat, like insects, tadpoles, fish, even the good old yabbies on the menu. And have a look at the red patch on the back of Billy's head, because in brogas that's a sign of maturity. And it lets us know and all other brogas know that Billy here is old enough to find a girlfriend. <laughs> so good luck with that one. Now, while Billy finds his feet on the ground, above them, aerial specialists like the whistling kite find theirs in the air. This is ours, and when she sees an insect, she will snatch it up, just like she just did, and pass it straight to her beak and swallow it without ever having to land. You've got to go a bit higher, Dixie. Now, whistling kites like Dixie are scavengers and can be found around ports, teats, abattoirs, anywhere that there's an easy meal to be found. Good girl. And unlike other birds of prey, are you ready for another? No. These birds can be found in large numbers. Oh no, she dropped it. Go up again and we'll do another. Now have a look how beautiful she looks flying around all on her own. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, I'll just pick it up. <laughs> because unlike other birds of prey, birds like Dixie can be found in large numbers. <laughs> She's a bit out of control, isn't she? Let's get her back. Imagine up to 50 of these birds in the skies all at once, doing exactly what she did then. Just absolutely magnificent sight to see. And she has done a great job. So thank you very much. See you later. How <laughs> beautiful to see him fly, isn't it? But Dix is not very heavy. So when he gets a little bit dusty like he just did, it can be a little bit hard to be in control. Now, so far we've seen two birds that can be found out and about and hunting at daylight. But which bird comes to mind if we think of a nighttime hunter? That's correct. Now, if you're an owl, and you're hunting at night, it can be very dark. So you, sometimes you cannot see so well. So you need to rely on another senses to be able to find yourself a meal. Senses like hearing, which we are going to demonstrate by hiding the sounds of frogs, which is what our barn owl likes to eat. And what I need is someone to help me decide where we're going to hide it. Okay, I'll let you choose. So all you need to do is choose that side or that side. That side? We're all happy? That side? That side? That one, okay, let's press play, <laughs> put a little bit of food and hide it right down there. And what I'll get you all to do is turn around, because up there there's a hollow log. Find ourselves a little bit of lunch. How good is that? Now we'll get Marion a little closer so you can have a look at the design of that face. Kind of shaped like a heart. And how it works is it pushes the sound back to those ears, which are enormous and hidden underneath all those feathers. You would have also noticed Marion flew down very silently. And this is really handy for you to be able to sneak up on your prey without them ever knowing that you are coming. So let's use our ears and see if we can hear any sound at all as Marion goes home. Hi. How good is that? Quiet as a mouse, don't you think? Yeah. You can clap, you can still hear, he's got good ears. <laughs> now with this, I bar owls can be found out and about in hunting at night time. But did you know that about 50% of all owl species can also be found out and about in hunting at daylight? And a lot of people are really surprised to hear this. In Australia, one of those owls is a barking owl, like Herbie. And today, he's going to get to fly very close to the tops of your heads. Now have a look at Herbie in those incredible eyes because they are his hunting tools and allow him to spot things he likes to eat. 
And when he does, his job is simply to get Good job. And we did say birds like Herbie can be found out and about and hunting up daylight. The main reason for that is their favourite prey just happens to be other birds. Herbie here can eat small birds like starlings and sparrows, but he can also eat birds as large as himself. Also really good at pouncing on small mammals, which is kind of good for us because before we got out in show, we used to have a bit of a rat problem all around bird show, but since the house moved in, we have not seen a rat or a mouse anywhere. They've all actually moved out. And you have to admit, Herbie here is the prettiest rat trap you will ever see. So thank you, Herbie, and thank you, Erin. And you know, people constantly ask me what my favorite part of this job is. And I'll have to say, being up close and personal with some incredible birds is right up there on top of my list. And not many people often get to do this. But today we have one very special volunteer who's going to do just that. So do we have someone? We sure do, Claudia. We have a young lady all the way from Vargo today. I'll get you to stand up and tell everyone your name. My name's Olivia. Thanks, Olivia. Now, all I need you to do is this special bird catching glove on. Like that. Let's see what happens next, so good luck. Hi. <laughs> You're okay, all we're going to do is fly a little baby bird to your glove. You ready for that? Excellent. Stand up here for me. On the seat. And turn around and face me. Good girl. And what I need to do is make a big feast like this. Excellent. Okay, and all I need you to do is look over your shoulder because any moment baby Angus is going to appear. He's right up there. Can you see him? Now, Angus just happens to be one of the largest owl species we have in this country. But he's also very friendly, so are you ready to get him over? Okay, hold on tight, because you're about to have a close encounter of the Angus kind. Are you ready, Angus? <laughs> Any moment, there he comes. How good is that? Angus is a rare rufous sow and they're only found in the northern areas of Australia. And he does But he actually weighs less than a kilo and he's there. So bring her over closer. Excellent. Do you have someone with a camera? All right, big smile. Big arm, you're smiling for two. Angus is not lips, have a look. <laughs> Did you get it? Try another one. Okay, bigger smile. Excellent. Just send Angus home, so if I can get you to turn and say the magic words in a big loud voice, say goodbye to Angus. And there he goes. Thank you. Great job. And just thank you. You know. Rufus elves like Angus are pretty hard to spot out there in the wilds because they are only found in small pockets of the rainforests of northern Australia. But there are other birds that are found everywhere. Birds like the galah, who just happen to be the most common parrot we have in this country. Now this here is Jojo and Jojo and I today are going to show you how clever a little galah can be. And what I need is the help of an adult volunteer with money. Yeah, it's going to be an adult and you're going to have a one or two dollar coin. Need to see a hand. Who wants to play? Yep, lady up there, do you want to stand up for me? What I need you to do is hold that coin between your thumb and forefinger to the side. Excellent. What we're going to ask Jojo to do is fly up and steal your money, bring it back and put it somewhere safe. My have a nice day. What did I get? Two dollars. Thank you, Matt. Okay, anyone else on a play? Oh, okay, well, we'll take kids as well this time. So the first one, the first person to show me a 50 or 100 dollar bill gets to play. I need the money. Where's your money? 50 or 100. You got a 50? That's not a 50. We don't do 10. Nah. We actually are only kidding and we only train honest birds. But thank you anyway. What we will do, ma'am, is return your money. So if I can get you to stand up. This time, palm flat to the 
sky. We will get your two dollars to a very honest bird who's going to go all the way up and put it exactly where she found it. Thank you, thank you, great job. You can see why parrots are considered to be cute and comical. But there's other birds out there with very different reputations. Birds like eagles who have captured the imagination of people for thousands of years. Their power and majesty is just breathtaking. And we are really lucky in Australia to have three different species of eagles to be found. Even luckier that the second largest of them all has always called Sydney Harbour its home. The white-bellied sea eagle is often seen soaring high over Sydney Harbour, always on the lookout for a good meal. Now, white-bellied sea eagles, like Minka, there she is, one of the things they like to eat is fish. And how they find it is by seeing it on the surface of the water, lining it up and just stooping it without actually diving in. Now, this bird is a local, and you can see where they get the name from, the white-bellied sea eagle. And they can often be seen soaring high over Sydney Harbour, just like Minka is doing right now. Now, when these birds see a good meal, whether it be a fish or anything else, what they do is line it up, tuck in those wings, and go down to pick it up. Let's see if we can get Minka to demonstrate just that. Beautiful, isn't she? Now, like we said, Minka is a wide-bellied sea eagle. She's a female, and she's around 10 years of age now. But the reason she is with us today is a little bit of a sad story. You see, once upon a time, Minka used to be a wild bird. That is, until the day she was found hanging upside down from a tree with a steel jaw trap oh, clamped to the right foot. If you look at the foot closest to Erin, you will notice that there's a couple of toes missing. And without those toes, Minka could not return back to the wild because she could not hunt successfully for survival. You know, the human race does have a lot to answer for, but we are also the only species on the planet with the power to make decisions that will affect the bird like Minka for better. And nowadays, eagle numbers are actually doing okay throughout this country. Thanks to people like you and I, who care enough to make a difference. And although Minka's story could never be changed, she is a great ambassador for all the other animals we share this planet with. And a reminder of the ability that every single one of us has to make decisions for the better. Well, I hope you enjoy seeing just a few of the different 800 species of birds that we have in this incredible country of ours. And just a little reminder, next time you're out and about, Always remember to look up because you never know what incredible birds you will see. On behalf of birds and trainers, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, come on down and we'll answer them for you. And of course, enjoy the rest of your stay at Taronga Zoo. See you next time. Yes, exactly, it's all the same thing. But, um... I'm going to go to the zoo. 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 I'm in fact, man kaam na kawani koi li bossa thay. All time koi li chodi bossa chhu. Ani la yo ma yo Sydney ko cable car ma bossa thay kisu. Ekle bossa thay ase. Sydney Harbour. This Sydney thay just. मॉल सोचे थे दस दिन की यात्रा सही मॉला ही इना फंसा आज लाते हैं तब दस दिन सही सिटी घूमना मात्रा ठीक हो उन बेचारे लाएगे ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आओ नहीं बंद है मॉइना तो एक एटलिस्ट छुट्टी ले रहा 
तन्न गोदिया पैसा भएर लटरी पर्न पर्छ एउटा कुरा अनि त्यसै चाहिँ घुम्न सकिन्छ रहेछ अस्ट्रेलिया घुम्न चाहिँ अस्ट्रेलिया त एकदम ठुलो देश हो त्यो घुम्न चाहिँ कति टाइम लाग्छ अब थाहा छैन अब धेरै कुराहरू हेर्नलाई डिपेन्ड्स कस्तो के के हेर्ने हो जस आजको यात्रा पनि एकदम मजाको एकदम भयो जस यो चोटी चाहिँ पो घुम्नु अचानक यसरी यति धेरै कुराहरू हेर्न ठाउँ छ कि अब सरी हिँड्ने रहेछ जेस अस्ट्रेलिया चाहिँ बस्न चाहिँ सोच्न लागेको ठाउँ छ यहाँ सेटल हुन चाहिँ राम्रै हो काम साम कुरो सबै पक्का छ भने चाहिँ आउन ठिकै हुन्छ नभए चाहिँ अहिले स्टुडेन्टहरूलाई चाहिँ अलिकति गाह्रो रहेछ यतातिर कामको नेपाली धेरै भयो रहेछ अहिले यता अनि ट्वेन्टी आवर्स गर्नुपर्ने यताउता इङ्ग्ल्यान्डमा धेरै सजिलो छ यहाँ भन्दा उरांग उटान हुन्छ यहाँ अब म फर्केर जाँदैछु यो जुबाट अब चाहिँ फेरि सिडनीको सेन्टर गएर अनि फेरि कहाँ जान्छु थाहा छैन
आज का मेरा यात्रा ऐसे समाप्त होने से आप कार्यांत चले साथ आइए मैं एक नोटिंग में आज दिखाता हूँ चला